Our leader, they will come for you. Why? I think you are someone very special. May you stay in Hi, Mara. Hi. How's it going? Good, how are you? Good, thanks. Uh, I'm Nick. I was one of the uh, visual effects supervisors on Alita. Um, I think you've just done the performance capture. Uh, I being have. Put Can you tell your paces. how sweaty I am? <laughs> Did Robert put you <laughs> through your, uh, your paces? <laughs> yes. Cool. Um, so basically that, that stage um, is all about the performance. Uh, on this stage, uh, we're focused on the camera as a storytelling tool. Mm -hmm. um, and typically this is where ideas for shots will, will come about um, and you'll explore actual cameras that will end up um, as shots in the film. So if you look at this screen here, uh -huh. um, this uh, is a piece of performance capture uh, actually from the film, uh, which ended up being, I think, five or six shots. Um, but it could have easily just been one shot if that was the way the filmmakers wanted to capture it. But this process here is all about exploring cameras on a, a sort of pre-captured uh, piece of performance. So feel free to move around the space. I'll just make sure you don't trip on this. Oh, crazy. Typically what will happen is um, the director or the DOP would do sort of like a scouting pass. So they'd sort of have an idea of, uh, of the shots that they'd, they'd want to explore. Oh. Um, and we create preset positions. Um, so we can, we can basically move you around the space um, so you don't have to like continually follow follow the I action yourself. I don't have to yourself. like wobbly look at rocks. No, that's fine. You can see how much of the set we we, we How built. much you built it out, yeah. Yeah, because you, you know you don't know where the director is actually going to want to point the camera. Yeah. Um, so this gives them the flexibility really to to point the camera anywhere. So typically this would be done on the performance capture stage. So yeah. you'd actually have a sort of physical representation of the space. Um, but sometimes it is nice just to be able to like walk through walls if that's really what you want to do with the yeah. camera, you know. Um, so you do have a bit more freedom. So now if you just move forward a little bit and you'll just reveal Alita and then you can tilt up at the end as well. And you can see the efficiencies here because you don't have to rerun the whole set with the performers um, and everything that's required for that. It's really yeah. just about exploring the camera. Um, we'll work with the filmmakers um, to basically um, create a camera that's going to work for them. Mm -hmm. If they want to film on an iPhone, for example, um, we can create an iPhone virtual camera. Um, if they absolutely want to shoot on something that feels like an Ari Alexa, yeah. we can do that too. So this is like usually quite a fun process for the, uh, for, for the director of the DOP, um, just to play around you know, without the pressures of having a, a, a fully functional set. And if you're a talented filmmaker, unlike me, you probably have, you know, you can imagine angles and that's yeah, better. And you, you, know? might, you might come to this with a, you know, a traditional storyboard, for example. Yes. Like you, you know what this space is going to be, um, and so you've storyboarded ver uh, cameras, um, and we'll create presets um, that will then get the filmmaker right in those, in those positions ahead of time. So when yeah. they get here, you know, they, they just they hit the ground running. That's amazing. Thank you so cool. much. I really appreciate your time. Awesome. Does it bother you that I'm not completely human? And we'll never I do whatever I had to for you. I'd give you whatever I have. I'd give you my heart.